internet wagon is Kai. So we're going to install Discord on Debian 11 today. We're not going to use any snaps or anything like that, no flat packs, no app images, just straight from the .deb package. In addition to that, we're just going to point out one very simple thing. If you are on Debian 11, you've probably tried to do this before and ran into an issue where it's almost as if Discord isn't working as it normally would. And that's probably because you are trying to install it without having the correct dependencies available. So we're going to go through how to get that sorted out right now. So first thing you want to do, head over to discord.com. You're going to click download for Linux, and then you're going to click on the .deb package. Save the file to your downloads folder. Sweet. All right. And now you're good on that front. Next thing you want to do, fire up your terminal. And then you're going to change directories to where you have the discord.deb package resting or hanging out. From here, we are going to hit the next step, which is to unpack this particular .deb package. So first thing you want to do is dpackage-deb dash x discord zero dot and then just hit tab to complete this is going to be the latest version of discord available right now which is version 0.0.17 .0 and then you can name this particular thing anything you want this extract this extracted version of the dot uh, deb package i'm going to call it um extracted yeah all right cool next thing you want to do is the package again deb and then control and then the same thing the four uh, yeah, select the dot deb package all right cool so now you should have two directories you'll have debian and you'll have extracted right so what you want to do is move the debian directory that's up here that's appeared right here on the screen move debian to your extracted directory. All right, so we're going to CD into extracted, and then boom, you have the Debian directory as well as the user directory. And what you want to do now is edit a particular file, um, and that particular file is called control. So you find that inside of the Debian directory under control. So what we are going to do is use Vim or whatever text editor you prefer. So for me, it's going to be sudo vim control. All right. So in here, here is your little offending guy right over here lib app indicator one now this is not currently as far as i know available on debian 11 i think it's only available on sid and buster if i'm not mistaken so let's and let's double check so i'm going to just run an app cache search lib app indicator one yeah doesn't show up but there is something there's an alternative that is available on Debian 11 and it's I think lib app Tanya if I'm not mistaken the uh the name is Ayatana I think it's always weird for me to pronounce I'm I'm not great with names guys so let's do an app cache search for lib Ayatana I think I'm pretty sure I'm right app indicator there it is okay cool and the one that you want is right here Lib Ayatana app indicator 3-1. So we are going to first install that, right? All right, now I already had it installed, but just de for demonstration purposes, just wanted to show you that process. All right, so you've got that installed. Great. So what you want to do now is replace what you have here with lib Ayatana app indicator 3-1. So what I'm going to do right here is just yeah, make it easy on myself. This is kind of a kind of the cheat, right? Lib Ayatana dash app indicator 
And then we're just gonna jump right here on the end and then do three dash one. Sweet. All right, so that should do it. Now we are going to write these changes and quit. And then now we are going to repack this particular uh, set of directories into a new uh, .deb package. So let's back out of this a bit, take a look at our extracted directory, and now let's repack everything. So the way to repack everything, repack everything, excuse me, is to use dpackage again. So we're going to dpackage dash b. I believe b is for build. I could be wrong, but um, pretty. Let's let's check it out real quick, man. Yeah, b is for build. Uh, as you can see up here. I like to check sometimes just to know um, and just to make sure that I'm giving the correct information <laughs> to folks when I'm talking about these things. Uh, but anyway, if you, if you ever confuse as to what some of these flags are, use your man pages. Man pages are great. I never used to think so until I actually started to use them. They are pretty awesome. <laughs> so we're going to build this out now. We're going to use dpackage, build, and it's going to be the extracted directory. And we'll call it Debian's actually Debian 11 discord. I'll actually like that better dot Deb and hit the button and see what happens. All right. And now you can see we have a new dot Deb package here called Debian 11 discord dot Deb. So let's get that installed with sudo apt install Debian 11 dash discord dot Deb. All right, that seems to have installed itself. So now we are going to close out of the terminal. Let's see if we can run Discord. And look at that, we have installed Discord. All right, and there you go. Debian 11 has Discord available now, locally. So that's the way to do it. I uh, hope that this was helpful to you and I give thanks for you watching. So remember, no matter what destroyer you use, out of many, one Linux, give thanks. Peace.